There's all these things competing to get you to not be focused. How about your insecurities? How about your fears? How about your worries or your problems? Are you using all of these? Do you kinda? Your relationship issues, does it distract you from your big goals? Do you let these things, do you almost willingly do it? Here's what I think. Most of us are willing participants in our own distraction. And we need to be willing participants in our own focus, in our own obsessions, and getting ourselves back on plan. Because remember what I told you, if you're really obsessed, the obsession will distract you from these things. But if you're not obsessed, these things will distract you from that thing. And this requires self-auditing on your part. And so that's the part one that I think steals more dreams than almost anything in life right now is this obsession with distraction. It's the obsession with other people think about us. It's all of these things competing except the one thing that matters, the one thing. But the best of the best, listen to me, the one thing dominates their life. The reason some of the athletes I work with have a hard time when they retire, can I be honest with you? Because they were so great at what they did because they were so obsessed on that one thing. When that one thing is gone, they don't know what to do with themselves with all these distractions now. Because the best in everything don't live with distraction, they live with obsession and focus. I'm not saying don't be a complete person. But I'm saying for you to complete your journey towards maxing out, for you to completely max out your life, you must eliminate all of these things that take you by the wayside. And so now the second part of the coin, if we're gonna win, right, is the sacrifice. I want you to write this down. I need to embrace the suffering. You know, there's something powerful that once you just sort of embrace the fact that in order to achieve something big, you've gotta get rid of these distractions, and then the other layer of it is, you're probably gonna to have to have some suffering to get there or some sacrifice to get there. And so once you've embraced and decided that this suffering, this sacrifice you're making is an indicator of progress, it's an indicator of obsession. Suffering and sacrifice and hard work is an indication of progress towards our dreams. The lack of sacrifice, the lack of suffering in our lives, it's removal, it's non-existence, also equates to a non-existence of a great life, a non-existence of a dream happening, a big one anyway. And so embrace the fact that you're gonna to have to sacrifice and suffer to some extent. Once you've embraced that it's going to happen, it's almost not that bad. It's kind of like those of you that are fit. We already know, and you already know even if you're not, you've sort of accepted that before you go to the gym and get there, you're gonna to have to suffer. And we go anyway, it becomes a habit.